the game that we've made totally non-competitive. And I think the kids were surprised when they realized when they, whoever got the highest number wasn't necessarily the winner. It was really, in many ways, it was just a game to sort of get the concept of the, you know, the, the order of numbers. Um, and in the beginning, kids really wanted to know who won or lost. And when they said, well, there's no one who loses in this game, they began to accept it. So that's been nice. It's the kind of thing you might try at home games that don't have winners or losers. But sometimes we reverse it. We say whoever gets the lowest numbers. And I mean, we can do that at home, except that it feels like most of the games in the world, the way life works is that you win or you lose at the soccer. It's not like, oh, we all had fun. We all, you know, won. So, you know, I can try to do it a little bit, but I also wanted to get used to the fact that that's life. I know when uh, I coach Little League, and uh, at the end of each game, the kids want to know who won or lost. They're six-year-olds, and I explain to them, huh, it's just... Incredibly, once again, we wind up tied. Every week we wind up tied. And I think at that age, it's like they're just happy to hear that.